Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper tie for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Two left feet. You getting friendly with me? Yeah! <laughs> 
property. Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Two hundred, partner. Take it or leave it. Why don't you come back when you got the money? Make up your mind. I ain't got all day. Hello, 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest. And they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon spying, like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. Some kind of vigilante? 
You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember correctly. Never down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Come on. Whoa. I'll be honest with you, Marson. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal, neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the bollards. All right. Whoa. Leave the horses here and follow me. Let's go! Stay alert, boys! Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Boy, behind that rock. Looks like we got him. Let's move on. Stick with me. Let's go, Marston. We gotta keep moving. Look, the deputies are making progress. Take those bastards in the camp. Just a little something for my troubles. You better surrender. You hear? Come on. Pull foot, Marston. Put down your gun and surrender. You got one. There's one more for the vultures. Looks like there's some ammunition lying about. 
you need it. I'll meet you up on the ridge. some snipers. God damn it. Take out those snipers, boy. Jesus well. We got here. All right, stealthy as you can, boys. Let's get as close to those bastards as we can. won't be rustling again anytime soon. Quick, let's get those hostages free. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. 
You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? 
Mister, you alive? Fuck, I fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. <laughs> Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? Head for Armadillo, friend. What is your name, friend? John Morston. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse How me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Baller Twins! Walton's gang! I know who you are! My God! Then come back and finish me off! Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for.
Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir.
Hey, wait up! Come on! How you doing? All right, let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that Wes Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Change is always good. What happened to that girl you was riding herd on a while back, Eli? Look, vultures. I see them. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. This don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Oh, 
dead body. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Come on, let's ride! They can't have gone too far. Sons of bitches! Nick, you once run a gang of outlaws, Marston. Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. Can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. Shed's clear, Marshal. Sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> gonna have ourselves fun. See my first time, mister. You ready to die?
someone else. Enjoy this! It's gonna be all right. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing.
But I guess he should have killed me when he had the chance. Eyes up. You see that? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. <laughs> 